Hey, comfort killers here on the plane. What would you do for success? You would get uncomfortable. So, headed to San Diego, meeting Billie Jean. Uh, stay tuned. Why am I whispering? This is a hot ass, hot ass plane. Hey, did you use the restroom? Wait, we can just get the hell out of here just by going down there? Where? Yeah, baggage came, yeah, we can just get out of here. Hey, Stacey A. Cross, there's no way my name just landed here. Beautiful San Diego. Had a crazy ride. You see my shirt, it's on button, it's on tuck because guess what? The snare is the weapon. 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 You thought you had a bigger bag. <laughs> Either way. Do you guys have any water here to sell? Downstairs at the basement. Basement? Oh, the water, the water selection. <laughs> hey, Mike. Real quick, for my people, contractors, do they want to work? No. Contractors do not want to work. Ever. <laughs> money Ever. on the, they leave money on the table. A t table, they're lazy. They're all lazy. They don't want to work. Damn. They don't contractors. Damn. They don't want to work. If I was a contractor, I'd have all the money in the world. Mm, easy. Easy money. Contractors. Jersey, he was like this. He's like, look, 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 look. <laughs> You know, you know you're a Jersey boy when you're like. He's like, man, I don't even know if people still did that, but I guess Mike from Jersey, he gets he gets it in. The contractors. First of all, what's your name, sir? What's my name? And uh, say it one more time, because I don't think they heard that. Uh, come on, this is Waldo. Yeah, you, my, my name is Stacey A. Cross. There's no E in my name. You see the A right here? Yeah. That's for excellent. Oh, thanks. Okay. So you're from originally Long, Long, Beach. Beach. Long Beach. You keep saying LA, but come on, let's get real. Long Beach. You're in Long Beach. And you came here because your family is in Mexico, yeah. and the border is close to San Diego. Mm -hmm. What do you think about freedom? Freedom? Yeah. What's, yeah. What's, what comes freedom? to your head? Freedom is everything you want to do. Everything you want to do, not what someone else wants you yeah. to do, right? No. So that's what I teach. I teach people to attain their freedom through personal development. You know what personal development is? It's, it's you, yeah, it's you taking self-improvement on yourself to reach another place in life where you don't have to be tied down, entrapped by A, the government, mm -hmm. B, everyone in society that tells you how to be, mm -hmm. you yeah. see what I'm saying? Or by what the schools teach you and all of that. You don't have to be tied down, you could attain your freedom. Yep. And my company is called The Comfort Killers. Oh. Is, it, is it a little scary? It's scary. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, The Comfort Killers. We're just yeah, killing I our comfort. That. We're, just no killing, yeah. we're just killing our comfort. Yep. How are you killing your comfort daily now? I don't know. Come on, tell me, tell me, how you kill, <laughs> how are you, how are you killing comfort, bro? Where I come from, there's me, and I can, and you can do everything you want. So yeah, that's where you feel. Yeah, you can do everything you want. Right. So where do you see yourself in two years? I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm another, good, another job. Another job. job. Yeah. So what about starting your own business? You don't never see yourself yeah. starting your own business. Why not? You don't think you're capable? Oh, 
it is a camera roll, but you know, it's uh, taking our time, taking our. It does take time. You know, self decisions only. Not not me. It's my family too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't you want? I think the most freedom comes from being able to support um, the freedom that you want, mm -hmm. right? And I know we're at work right now, so we're not going to say it a little loud, but I know what you mean. But how do you spend most of your day? But every day in LA ain't always what it seems. Sh show the hat. Show the hat. <laughs> All right. You see me getting uncomfortable. You see me stepping outside of my comfort zone. You see me laying the law of my principles and my beliefs. And I mean it 100%. That's all it takes is you stepping outside, go meet people, let them know what your goals is, are, and just and just go from there. Yeah, I'm in beautiful San Diego. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm at the perfect place that I thought I couldn't be. And that, that makes me happy. That makes me happy. What makes you happy, comfort killers? Let me put that like that. What makes you happy? That's a quick question. Answer that question, hello at thecomfortkillers.com. Hello at thecomfortkillers.com. I want to know what makes you happy. I am. Now I'm going to ask you, I'm, now I'm going to ask you again. How are you? I'm fantastic. You are fantastic. You are amazing. Beautiful, it's a beautiful day. Oh, where's that accent from? Belgium. Oh, very nice. What brings you to San Diego? What brings you to America? Um, the beautiful weather, English and you, So you mean that you don't have beautiful weather in Belgium? It's raining all the time. It's raining all the time. So, what really brought you to America? The opportunity in ah. this land. See, you got a hey, comfort killers. Hey, I am Stacey A. Cross and there is no E in my name. <laughs> opportunity, you took, I mean, how long is that trip, first of all? Uh, about 20 hours. 20 hours because you know that there's opportunities here so you move closer to opportunity you move towards opportunity you don't stand still no have you gotten have you received the opportunities that you wanted here yes, yes? yes. and there's yeah, plenty more uh, yes there's plenty, plenty more, more oh man see we are focused on opportunity we're focused on freedom what's your idea of freedom what makes you free being able to be my slave. Wow. Hold on. That's going by. I don't know if you heard this. I asked her, what is her idea of freedom? She said, being able to be herself. Nonsense bliss, forced my head part in the trick, support the plan, attack it a sift, it's attacking this music in a myth. Out of this world in my prime, stepping on stage with a flute and a mic, handlebars and a dime bag. That's the number one answer that I've received today. I think, because I believe it. I believe be it. yourself. Yeah. Be and who you are. Be who you are. Yeah, live your life the way you want to live. Live your life the way you want to live. I believe that we have to get uncomfortable to reach those opportunities, right? Once you're comfortable, you don't grow. You know, you live in this life, it's all the same. You know what you're going to do. You know? So I took a big dive as well and say, you know what? I gotta get uncomfortable. You moved one step closer to freedom. What's your goal? Come closer, cause we gotta hear her goal. Okay. What's your goal? Hey, when you get the fabulous top of the morning breakfast, and you know you gotta take it. You got you gotta snap it first. Oh, hoo -hoo. San Diego gas line, Stacy A. Cross. There's no E in my name, but I'm gonna knock this out right here. Yo, I'm so excited to be here. I still can't believe this is my first time in San Diego, so I'm a little giddy, so excuse me. Okay, excuse me. It's gone while I wasn't here, but then since it was doing all right, that's why I decided to come yeah, I know you hear the Brooklyn accent. I know you hear the New York accent. You see the Yankee fitted on his head. I'm just walking down the street. I'm in San Diego. I'm just walking down the street. I'm trying to find folks that are out for freedom. <laughs> and this guy is definitely out for freedom. Yeah. And he's attaining it here in San Diego by a food truck. Yep. Food truck. So what's the name of the food truck? Born in Brooklyn. Born in Brooklyn, which is not a lie. <laughs> okay. What what kind of what kind of goodies you got on the food truck? Everything. We got meatballs, grilled cheeses, uh, the San Janeiro after the festival in Brooklyn. Yes. Yeah. Peppers. Uh, 
bellies, we got it all. Oh, snap. Wait. Knishes, we get our knishes flown in from Coney Island, actually. Oh, wow. So it's the real deal out here. Mm -hmm. So are you kind of taking the market for having that authentic New York food? Well, yeah, food? That's, that's the goal. Because the they don't have that shit out here. All the food sucks out here. It's really just tacos and stuff? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it, right? So Burritos you got tacos. tacos. Yeah, food, yeah, that's it. That's what I know about yeah. it. So, um, what's your name? John. John. Yo. John. John. John came out here to San Diego for freedom, took the leap. I did. Hey, this guy is a comfort killer. That's the name of the company, the Comfort Killers. We break, we okay. get uncomfortable to reach success in life. There we go. What's your goal? To not have to work. Skylocking, loan sharks, fat cigars over the bony parts, hypoglossal facial, you getting on my nerves. I'ma need that spatial now, harmonizing to the clover shit, pull over to all the webs. Oh, this is my freedom in the freedom for Oh, wow, that's huge. Five and a half years old. Very well. That's my freedom. No, that's awesome. I get to pay my bills now. I get to uh, my family. I get to do a lot of stuff. Because you were yeah. sort of entrapped yeah. in a cycle. In a dark place. Yeah. Very dark yeah. place. In fact, I was addicted to gambling yeah. for over nine years and I didn't see the light. Yeah. And every day something drove me back yeah. to it. And I was trying to say, how do I break that? How did yeah. you break it? I just. Ask God. Yeah, and, and then you put it all in. He put me. Uh, he said, "Go to San Diego to to uh, San Salvation Army Rehab," and that's where I went. Wow! Yeah. Look at you now. Yeah, I didn't know anybody here. Yeah, I'm not from here. So yeah, where are you from? I started a new life from around Bakersfield. Okay. Area. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I never realized how unhappy I was until I got happy. For five years. Yeah. Well, coming up on six in uh, March 15th. March 15th. Five yeah. years. You see what I'm saying? Six years. Six. Six years. Six years. What's your name? My name is Tammy. Tammy. Hey, Tammy is the epitome of what freedom is for her. She was entrapped before, and now she is 100% free, living a happy, beautiful, prosperous, Sam. prosperous, nice. Yeah. Sam? Sam. Sam. Hey, Sam. Hey, Mark. Mark. Sammy's out here. He wants to be on video. <laughs> Yeah. He likes that. He likes the attention. All right. That's, All right. I, 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 All right. Thank you. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah? Three of them so far. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. the devil. All right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Stacey A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. Don't spell it with an E. Okay. All right. <laughs> thank you. This is it. We're going uh, to Billy Jean. It's Marketing Incorporated. It's a watch and learn if you're on the webinar. If you're watching this right now, we are going to give you a little piece of Stacey A. Cross vlog. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel right here so you can get more information like this. But, yeah, I mean, Theo's here, the real estate guy right here. Coming and working, right coming. Right? coming and working, man. That's it. Uh, always growing, always expanding. So, happy to be a part of uh, the Billie Jean experience today.
lunch every day. Billy talks about it just about every morning huddle up. Yeah. About how I mean, if you you have to be uncomfortable with something to 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 really get better at it. Yeah. And so like if you don't yeah. do sales, he he wants you to do some more sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get uncomfortable. Get get better at it. Take some action. Yeah. Get face to face uh, on the phone and just yeah, get out of your comfort zone. I believe it. I preach it. This is oh, what I do. No. So for whatever reason, half of people I feel like decide to leave. Yeah. And go try something else. Yeah. But I wouldn't want to leave here. I don't know. <laughs> it's just it's just we're, too we're pretty lucky. Yeah. 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 Exactly why Billy doesn't leave here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude. So you seen you seen Billy from oh, yeah. all yeah. stages, yeah. all stages. Yeah, we grew up together. So we're six months apart. Um, and we yeah we've been playing video games our whole lives. Yeah, well, you we still, still you still do we still, we you still, still do. do okay still do. Uh -huh. not every night but yeah every other night uh, we're getting after it no, yeah but yeah we've grown up together and honestly he's always had the, like the same spirit about him yeah the, that entrepreneurial spirit mm -hmm. you, could, you could always sense that he was gonna be successful in life it just took took a little bit longer than I mean not really that he expected but I mean yeah, after college. Is when he really uh, started making moves. Okay. But we always knew he would. This is a short amount of time, though. I mean. Oh yeah, absolutely. Billy's how old? Uh, 29. Yeah, come on. No, no. Still in the 20s. Oh, I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's a short period of relativity, though. Mm -hmm. You know. Absolutely. Yeah. Everything goes. way to sell anything online period and I'll break it down simplified way so everybody can use this it. This is so real. Very simple. This is so real. Address the audience of who you want to advertise to. Find out what their number one problem is that they're facing. Kind of like we just did with the authors. Offer to solve that problem for free. That formula, you can be an industry, you guys can yell it out. That formula will work every single time. So how I've grown my brand is this. I say, hey business owners, I know you guys need more customers. Here's a free training of how to use Facebook to get more customers. Mm. At the end of the training, I say, if you found that helpful, then you also may find this helpful, but this one costs money. Would you like to buy it? Mm. And we repeat the same thing every single time. Oh, I saw you were trying to use Instagram to get more customers. Well, here's a free training to get more customers on Instagram. If you find this helpful, would you like to buy some more? Mm. And the process doesn't change. You know who else does it really fucking good? If we go to a mall right now, there's going to be somebody with some orange chicken on a toothpick. And we're going to walk around, we're going to be starving and say, hey, if you want to try this orange chicken, it's really good. Like, nah, nah, we're not hungry, man. Get away, bro. Like, just try it. And then we take a bite and go, fuck, this is pretty good. You want to eat lunch here? Yeah, yeah. They gave us a sample. They gave us a sample. Yeah. And watch this. Some people will take the sample and run. Some people will actually buy. Some people will buy and come back and bring their friends. That's all businesses. It's the same fucking thing online. We just try and complicate and put all this other shit on it. It's not. It's all the problem for something. Very simple. Very yeah. simple. And it's very real here. Hey, you got a billboard. I mean, I mean, that's so unorthodox speaking <laughs> in this, this digital space. Yeah. Hey, Comfort Killers just had an amazing experience with Billie Jean. As you can see, it's all about marketing. It's all about getting out there, getting attention. But again, bringing awareness back to something, something tangible, maybe a product, maybe a lead magnet, maybe it's courses, maybe it's consulting, whatever you do, have that intention in your mind. What strategy am I using, YouTube, the platform, am I going to bring back awareness to convert? Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I am. Ooh, that's it right there. <laughs> oh, education, baby. Yeah, my man here came all the way from Long Beach. He says LA, but it's, it's Long Beach. Beach. It's, it's, it's Long Beach. And uh, man, he's he's dedicated to take care of his family, take care of his life, and he wants freedom. And my goal is to show you how to get that freedom. Sometimes it's already in what you're doing, and you just want to expand that, highlight what you're doing, expand it, pull some funds out of it, but it all takes time. Like he said, don't get it twisted. It does take time. Just be dedicated to your goals. Let's make a goal right now. Your goal is to <laughs> give up, no, no, make a goal right now because you don't have a goal. That's the problem. You, yeah. you don't have a goal and you don't have a time mm -hmm. to where I'm going to get this goal out. Yeah. What's your goal? The goal create. Create. Uh, Suckers. <laughs> keep, keep it going. <laughs> you got it. Sucker. Players, come on. Yeah, to create the best soccer players, right? Using
taking the skills I already have and make money from it. And I'm gonna do this by, put a date on it. Put a date on <laughs> Two it. Two years. Two years? Two years? Yeah. So give me a date. <laughs> no, it really comes down to that. Oh, so, come on. No, no, it really comes down to that. I'm <laughs> telling you, hey guys, this is what I'm talking about. You November gotta put a date. November 14th. No, so what is it? 2019. November 14th, 2019. Okay. I'm coming back to you. But when I asked you what your goal was, you didn't know it right away. It's kind of a tricky thing. It's, it's, it, it's not, though. So, my task for you tonight mm -hmm. is to go home. You write a goal on a piece of paper and a goal that you're able to work right. towards. Because when you say you want to enjoy life, right. it's very broad, but not only that, what thing will make you enjoy life to the fullest? Where you could enjoy life, be happy, at the one goal that are able to fulfill all those other goals. That's your goal, and put a date on it. Put a date on it, write a goal down. When someone asks where are you going, you know exactly where you're going. Yeah. Alright guys, this is... Alright. So, this is it. Um, I had a beautiful experience here in San Diego with Billy Jean is marketing with my people here and uh, I believe that we conquered three things we conquered one you know getting out of our comfort zone two, being able to ask the right questions to get the real results and adding value to our comfort killers uh, and the third one is implementation you always need to implement and I believe we already started that strategy while we're here while we're in San Diego just had dinner and able to put together some things that we could do and implement to gain results so comfort killers from the bottom of my heart I love you so much I am Stacey A. Cross there is no E in my name until next time